the mute commands have been around for ages, and Discord just released one of their own. They're called timeouts, and today I'll be showing you guys how you can make timeouts in your Discord bot. Timeouts are very simple to use, and they automatically block the user from joining any voice channels, sending messages, and reacting to any messages. Also, I'd like to give a big thank you to Oliver, who implemented timeouts into Nextcord in like one or two days, and he also helped me out with a bit of this video that I didn't understand, or like just making it easier for you guys to make. A big thank you to Oliver, and without further ado, let's get straight into the coding. So actually creating a timeout command is really simple. I'm just going to call this one mute because they kind of did the same exact thing. But what it is, is at client.command or a bot, whatever you use, and do async dev, and this is just going to be called mute. And I'm going to pass in ctx, and then whatever member. So we can do member equals next chord dot member. And then after that, we're going to have a time that the user will be muted for. And then if you want this option, you can add a reason as well. Like so. And by the way, I will be using Nextcord. If you want to know how to install Nextcord, just go to your terminal right here and do pip install. Nextcord, for me, it's already installed. So you, I'll just see requirement already satisfied. For you, if this is new, it might not be. So yeah, and Nextcord, it... So I guess a fork of discord.py and they have timeouts so not many forks do already it's pretty quick so yeah so after we have this what we're gonna do is we're gonna do time equals and here we're gonna add two libraries so we can remove these two that are unused and what we're gonna add is import date time and then also do import human friendly so what this is going to be is this is going to be for interpreting our actual time that we put in here and converting it into seconds for discord to be able to read and then date time is going to actually do all the math and tell discord for how long to actually mute the person for so and by the way you will have to pip install these so do pip install date time and then you're also gonna have to do oh, that's already there and then you're also have to do pip install human friendly like so now that we have that we can actually go on to our time variable so time is already defined over here but we're gonna have to change what it actually is defined so we're gonna do time equals human friendly dot parse underscore time span and then pass in time like so so this will just change whatever time we pass into here into seconds. So if we pass in 60 as a time, it will change it into, or sorry, if we pass in one minute as our time, then it will change it into 60 seconds. Or if we pass in five minutes, it will automatically change 300 seconds and so on and so forth. You can literally do years for this. I don't think it's suggested, but you can. Then we're going to do await member.edit. Now, this is where the part gets a bit tricky. So, in the beginning of the video, I told you all that if you don't have Nextcord already, install it. Well, now, even if you have Nextcord, if you didn't before, what I'm going to need you to do is run this command. So, pip install dash u git plus, and this is Nextcord's, I guess, repository dot git hashtag master. So, just run that here, and what this will do, oh, I guess. I spelled it wrong, but what this will do is this will update your next chord branch and it will give you the latest one because that the latest one is the one that has timeouts. Remember that this just came out, so yeah. Now we're gonna do timeout equals next chord dot utils dot utc now and this is just the time zone that we're gonna be using. And then it will do plus date time dot time delta seconds equals time like so and that will actually just time out the user and that's it to the mute command if you want you could send a message also saying i guess f string this and say 
member dot mention has been muted because and then reason if you really wanted to but yeah believe it or not that is a mute command right there now you may be asking what if we want to on time out the person or unmute the person well that's even easier we're just going to copy this code right here and then delete the first line here and over here we're going to delete a good chunk of this so you should just have this and then set timeout to none and then do has been unmuted remove the time argument and there you go this is an unmute command that's all it is and it's super simple also make sure that your bot has the timeout i guess capability to doing that it's a permission you should see above on screen so if your command doesn't work exactly that might be the reason why and the user who's actually doing the command will need to have the moderate members permission. So make sure he ha the whoever the user is has that also. And also the reason it's member.edit and not member.timeout is because inside the documentation for Discord, the API, it is actually modifying the member instead of actually adding onto it. So that's the reason if you had that question or if you're like a bit more in-depth into like creating libraries and more advanced if you might want to know that there's your answer anyways i'm going to stop talking and just click this run button and let's run this command okay actually i forgot um this is supposed to be called unmute not new because then that wouldn't work out i already had an ear for that my bad but here it says bot up and ready so I forgot something really small, it's supposed to be part time span, not parse time. So just update that, I guess. Yeah, I got the error for it. My bad, now we'll go to Discord. Now, uh, here I am in my Discord, link down below in the description. Feel free to join, it's pretty epic, and also subscribe if you want. But anyways, I'm going to do D, and mute, and I have my alt count here. Glows all, so I'm gonna do new for one minute, and then we're just gonna do low, I guess that's the reason. And it says close all has been muted. You can't really see any difference, but I guess yeah, this is it. And then we're gonna unmute it. Just by doing unmute, and there you go. And on screen right here, you should have seen the whole process in like how it looks like for the user. It'll have like a little timeout bar, and they won't be able to talk. Anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this video. It was a real blast to make, and I had fun doing it with you guys. So if you could subscribe, it would really help out the channel. But yeah, until next time, close to go. See ya!